Sashi Dalek to everyone. Uh, so today we will be uh, discussing about the uh, differentiation of uh, two new functions. Okay. Uh, so so today we will be uh, differentiating a new function okay so that is differentiating exponential function okay so now this is the new type of function of which we have to find out the derivative okay so that is differentiating exponential function so we will be uh, dealing with the uh, finding the derivative of two new functions which is uh, finding the derivative of exponential function and finding the derivative of logarithmic function. So we will be finding the derivative of uh, these two new top uh, new functions, right? So first, uh, we will define. Okay, uh, what do we mean by an exponential function? Okay, so first, I will write down the definition. Okay, or you can say uh, you must have. Uh, study the properties uh, of the exponential uh, terms if you remember okay so exponent what do we mean by exponent first you just understand this so exponent means power okay so if i write um, 2 raised to 3 right so then what is the exponent over here this is 3 okay so that is 3 is the power. You also use the term power to denote the exponent. So, we write 2 raised to 3 means this 3 is the power or the exponent. So, any function uh, which we keep in this form, okay, so that is called as an exponential function. So, now uh, this uh, exponent you had learned in lower classes, but now here we are taking a function which is in the form of exponent and that function is called as exponential function, okay. So, if I define so exponential function is okay exponential function is defined for b some base uh, b greater than 1 so uh, we take only for positive base and also which is strictly greater than 1 because 1 raised to any power is 1 so we are taking strictly greater than 1 okay so exponential function is defined for b greater than 1 as okay so you can write this b is equals uh, sorry y is equals to b raised to x so now this is the uh, exponential function y is equals to b raised to x so now any function which we put it in the form of uh, using some exponent, so then that is called as exponential function. So y is equals to b raised to x. Now if I write, then we call this b as the base, if you remember. Okay, so b raised to x, such type of terms are introduced to you in lower classes, which we uh, studied in the chapter exponent. Okay, so b is the base and x is the exponent okay also it is called as power so these two terms are used uh, for x okay so any function we put it in this form that's called as exponential function now you remember that there is one restriction on uh, b right that is um, base has to be strictly greater than one so here we are taking all the exponent terms where the base is strictly greater than one okay so this is the exponential function. So now you can see here. Now if I uh, talk about the uh, domain and range of an exponential function, right? So uh, here your function y is equals to b raised to x, okay? Now you can see here this x, it can be any real number. If you take any real number, positive real number or negative real number, base, b, base is fixed. So base is a real number which is strictly greater than 1. So any base... Okay, any real number for uh, which is greater than strictly greater than one, uh, with any real number as its power, you will always get a defined value, right? So therefore, uh, the uh, domain for the exponential function is set of all real numbers. Okay, so domain of exponential function is set of all real numbers, right? Okay, now what about the range? What do we mean by range? Range is the 
set of images okay now you had already fixed uh, what is this x okay so this x can be any real number it can be positive real number it can be negative real number it can be zero also base raised to any base raised to power zero is equals to one you know that okay so whether you take a positive real number or negative real number okay let me take uh, y is equals to b raised to two okay now we know that b is a positive term because b is strictly greater than one so any positive term raised to two it will be always a positive number right positive real number so therefore for x, if x is any positive real number, then y will be always a positive term. b raised to any positive number will give you always a positive real number. So therefore, y can take all positive real numbers, right? Whereas x can be negative also, okay? So suppose if I write y is equals to b raised to negative 2. Negative 2 is one of the real numbers. So just I'm uh, out of all the set of negative real numbers, I'm taking negative 2 as the example, okay? So then I can rewrite this as 1 upon b square using the uh, property of exponent if you remember law of exponent, okay? So when you have a negative exponent, then you can write it as 1 upon b raised to 2, is it? So 1 is a positive term, b square is again a positive term. So therefore, even though the power or the exponent is a negative term, in that case also y will be always a positive because by using the law of exponent, that term can be always written as this, so which gives us a positive real number, is it? So therefore, whether this x is a positive real number or negative real number, it can be any real number. Since we had fixed the domain of this set, uh, exponent function as set of all real numbers, so therefore this x can be any real number. If x is a positive real number, then y is a positive number. Even if x is a negative real number, then also y will be a positive right so therefore the range of uh, the domain is set of all positive real numbers right so this is about the domain and range of exponential functions so since it is a new type of function for you so you must know what will be the domain and range of the uh, exponential function okay so exponential function is uh, any function which can be put in the form of b raised to x but always remember that there is a restriction on the base that is, base has to be strictly greater than 1 and uh, this x is the power or the exponent. So, a function when it is written in the form of exponent. So, that function is called as exponential function, right? Okay. Okay, now if I fixed my... Okay, if I fix my base as 10... Okay, so this is called as the exponential function, right? Okay, now if I fix my base as 10, okay, 10 with any power, right? If you fix your base as 10, so then this is called as common exponential function. So this is called as the common exponential function, right? And if I fix my base as e, okay, first uh, let me introduce uh, what do we mean by e, okay? There is a series. Now, you might have uh, studied um, uh, this one, uh, 1 plus, okay, 1 upon 1 factorial plus 1 square upon 2 factorial plus um or you just write 1 upon 3 factorial plus up to so on, right? Um, so if I consider this 1 upon 1 plus 1 factorial plus 1 upon 2 factorial plus 1 upon 3 factorial and so on, okay? So this, you have a series, right? Okay, you have a series. So this series is denoted by a um, variable or you just not variable, sorry. You can use it uh, just by a symbol or a letter to represent this series, okay? So this series is this e this series is the value whatever value you get okay that value is called as the exponential e right so now if I fix my base as e so now this is the value for e okay e is equals to one plus one upon one factorial plus one upon two factorial plus and so on okay 
So when I fix my base as e, so then e raised to x. Okay, now you should know what do we mean by this e? E is this value. Okay, and the value of e is always between two and three. Okay. So the value of e always lies in 2 and 3. I have been introduced to this factorial notation, right? You know the uh, meaning of factorial notation. How do we uh, represent factorial notation, okay? So uh, this series, okay, is denoted by the letter e, right? So if you fix your base as e, okay, now you should know what is e. e means it's this series. So when you fix your base as e and x is any real number, so this type of exponential function is called as natural exponential function, okay? Natural exponential function, right? So when we write y is equals to e raised to x, then uh, you may think what is this e? So e is this series, right? So uh, now in our syllabus, we are dealing with the natural exponential only, okay? So we will be... Um, uh, differentiating all the natural exponentials. So first, uh, to understand natural exponential function, you should know what do we mean by exponential function. So exponential function, the general form of exponential function is given as this, y is equals to b raised to x. So b can be uh, any real number which is strictly greater than 1, okay? Now when we fix our base b as 10, so when you write y is equals to 10 raised to x, so then this type of exponential function is called as common exponential function, okay? And for an exponential function, when you fix your base as e, right? So then this is called as natural exponential function, okay? So uh, here we will be in our syllabus. We are just uh, differentiating only natural exponential function, okay? So this e, what uh, the value of this e is given by this, but we don't need to find the value of e. Just understand that uh, e is the value for a series, okay? And its value, it lies between 2 and 3, okay? So this is all about the exponential function, okay? <clears throat> okay, now you know this. Okay, I've given you the formula earlier also, but you just uh, note this. The derivative of okay exponential function is derivative of e raised to x okay so derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x now the uh, proof of this um, formula can be derived using the first uh, principle method for differentiating okay so i'm going to skip that uh, because the proof is not needed here we are just interested in finding out the derivative of exponential function okay so you just remember this derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. So likewise, uh, we find out derivative of sine x is equals to cos x. Derivative of cos x is equals to negative sine x. We have this formula. So similarly, derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. Okay, so this is one new formula to find the derivative of exponential function. Okay, now we will uh, see a few examples. How can we differentiate exponential function? Now you always remember that... Um, Always you have to apply chain rule and uh, product rule, quotient rule whenever there is a need, okay? Wherever you, uh, your fu uh, function is expressed in terms of product, you have to express, uh, find the differentiating using product rule. If your function is expressed in terms of quotient of two functions, then you have to use quotient rule. If your function is um, uh, composite of two functions, then you have to apply chain rule. So all these are basic differentiating methods. So you have to apply this. Uh, new functions will be introduced to you, but the method of differentiating will remain same, okay? Okay, now I'll give show you a few examples. Okay, differentiate y is equals to e raised to 2x, okay? Now we are going to differentiate it. So, differentiating both sides, you get dy by dx is equals to, right? Okay, so first your whole function, now here I'm going to apply chain rule, okay? So first, your whole function is an exponential function. So you have to apply the formula to find the derivative of exponential function. So we know that derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. So I'm going to apply it over here. So derivative of e raised to, this is e raised to 2x. Okay, so e raised to x is e raised to x. So here my uh, exponent is 2x. So that will be e raised to 2x into, right? Now I need to apply the uh, derivative, uh, find the derivative of the power, okay? So that is derivative of 2x is 2, is it? 
So derivative of 2x is 2 into derivative of x is 1. So that is 2. So therefore I have dy by dx is equal to, you write this 2 before, okay? So this is how we find the derivative of exponential function, okay? So it's quite simple, but you just need to um, apply all the basic rules, okay? I'll take one more example. If I given you this, um, <clears throat> differentiate, um, See if I write um, x squared into e raised to sine. Okay, now can you see a difference between example 1 and 2? Example 1, it had been already given in the form of equation y is equals to e raised to 2x. So in such case, what you will do is you will directly differentiate both sides. So derivative of uh, left hand side, that is dy by dx is equals to them. You need to differentiate it, right? Whereas in example 2, you are given it in the form of expression. It is not an equation, okay? So, always remember that when it is given in the form of expression, so then always you need to equate first this uh, with y, okay? So, first of all, you will write y is equals to x square e raised to sine x, okay? Now, we have to differentiate both sides. So, every time, whenever you are asked to differentiate, always you should have uh, an equation okay so if it is given in the form of equation then directly you can differentiate it if it is just given in the form of an expression so then first you need to equate that expression with y and then you will uh, differentiate both sides okay so dy by d derivative of y with respect to x that is dy by dx is equals to now you look here this is given in the form of product of two functions x squared into e raised to sine x okay so we need to apply chain rule uh, sorry product rule okay so this this is your first function this is your second function so what is how do we apply product rule derivative of product of two function derivative of first function so that is what is the derivative of x squared that is 2x right derivative of first function this is your first function this is your second function okay second function as it is e raised to sine x okay plus First function as it is, okay, into derivative of second function. So, when you look at the second function, okay, it is, as a whole, it is an exponential function. So, derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. So, derivative of e raised to sine x is e raised to sine x into. Then, you need to differentiate the power, okay. So, that is derivative of sine x is cos x. So, this is, now, here we had completed this. And derivative of x, first you will differentiate the angle uh, sine x and then it's angle x, so that is 1. So we don't have to write that, okay? So now you write this is 2x e raised to sine x plus x square, okay, into cos x into e raised to sine x. So this is the derivative of y with respect to x. So now uh, you can take out e raised to sine x common, okay, if you want to simplify so from here I'm left with 2x plus from here I have x squared into cos x. So that is dy by dx. Okay. So this is how we differentiate exponential function. Okay. Now let me give you one more example. So this topic is quite simple. Okay. Okay. Differentiate y is equals to e raised to root 10x. Right. Okay. Now you differentiate this derivative. Okay. As a whole, it's a function of exponential. So derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. So first you write, take down as it is. That is derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. Okay, power x is root. Now we need to differentiate the angle, okay, which is a root function. So we know that derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x, right? So that is into 1 upon 2 root x x x is here 10x okay into then you need to differentiate 10x so that is sex square x is it so now we have completed this so that is sex square x into e raised to root 10x whole divided by 2 into root 10x so that is dy by dx okay so now everything is same so you have been only introduced a new 
uh, formula to differentiate exponential function. Otherwise, we have to apply product rule, we have to apply chain rule. The method for differentiating is same, but uh, you will be introduced new function and its derivative. Uh, the way you differentiate a function is all same. Okay, so this is all about uh, differentiating an exponential function. So this is how we differentiate exponential function. Okay, now next we will take a new function that is differentiating a logarithmic function. Okay. Okay, the next uh, we have is differentiating a logarithmic function. Okay, now you might have heard about log, log, but it had uh, this topic must be new to you. Okay, so now we have this exponential function and logarithmic function. Exponential and logarithmic function are inverse of each other. So you need to remember this, okay? They are inverse of each other. Exponential and logarithmic are inverse of each other, okay? Now we have this from exponential function. I will try to explain uh, how can we write that in the form of logarithmic function because now you are um clear with the exponential function so from the concept of exponential function i'll try to define logarithmic function right so when i write y is equals to b raised to x okay where b is strictly greater than one so this function is called as exponential function right and when we fix this uh, base b as 10 then this is called an common exponential function and when i fix my base b as e so then we call it as a natural exponential function right now, when you have this uh, uh, exponential function, now this can be written in the form of logarithmic function as, okay, if I write um, log of, okay, now here this log of y, okay, to the base b, so this is how it can be written, right, logarith, okay, log, now instead of logarithmic, we could just say log, okay, short form, log of y to the base b, base is b, this is equals to x, okay? So, when you write an equation in this form, this is in the exponential form. And when you write it in this form, this is logarithmic function. So, these two are same, okay? So, y is equals to b raised to x. So, this is, uh, this you read it as y is equals to, you say, b raised to x. This is how you read, okay? Here in this case, you will write, log of y to the base b is equals to x log of y to the base b is equals to x okay now we'll take few examples if i write um okay y is equals to uh, 7 raised to x right now this i had expressed in the form of exponential function now when i write it in the form of log function then how can you write this you will write log of y to the base 7. Here base is 7. This is equals to x. Is it? Right? So this is same. Okay. So this is how we write log function. Okay. So if similarly if I write, um, uh, say if I give you this, 5 raised to y is equals to x. Okay. Now you express this in the form of log. So can you do this? So you can write log of x. Okay log of x to the base 5 is equals to y. So, uh, here the power, okay, it comes on the right hand side and this y, so it's here and this is the base, okay. So, in this way you can define log function, okay. So, this is to be read as log of x to the base 5 is equals to y. So, here whatever the exponent is, it comes as a single term on the right hand side. So that can be written on the left hand side also. So this is how we uh, define a log function. Okay, similarly, if I give you this, okay, if I uh, write, um, let's see, uh, okay, 7 raised to m is equals to p. Okay, now can you express this in, now here I've given you this in 
uh, exponential form. Now, can you write it in a logarithmic function? So that will be log of p, okay, to the base 7, base is 7, is equals to m, is it? Okay, now if I give you one more example, okay, if I now give you this, um, okay, log of q to the base um, 3 is equals to, um, say, t, okay. Now, can you, here I had given you in the form of exponential. Now, can you express this that in this function in the form of exponential? So this is if this is now this is your base. Okay, so we have q is equals to this is base three raised to t. Okay, so whether you write it like this or you write it like this, these two are having same meaning, but this is logarithmic expression and this is uh, uh, exponential expression. Okay. So they are inverse of each other, logarithmic, whether you uh, logarithmic and uh, this um, exponential function, they are inverse of each other, okay. Now here I can define this as, okay, um, okay, now if I have, uh, say, y is equals to, log of x to the base p okay okay so now can you express this in the form of exponential so that will be x is equals to b raised to y is it okay so now uh here whether you write x or y any uh, at any place so uh, it will be in the exponential form okay so now here since my y is uh, the dependent variable so therefore i'm writing it in x uh, i'm expressing y in terms of x is it okay so now here uh, this is to be read as log of x to the base b is equals to y or y is equals to log of x to the base b okay now you look here this is the base right now when i fix my base as 10 okay then this is called as common logarithmic function now quite similar to the previous one okay so that is common logarithmic function okay so when you fix your base b as 10 so this is co called as common logarithmic function okay y is equals to log of x to the base e now this e is same that series 1 plus 1 upon 1 factorial plus 1 upon 2 factorial so on so when you uh, write this uh, y is equals to log of x to the base e so this is called as <coughs> natural exponent sorry natural logarithmic function okay so similarly, when in exponential function, when we take our base as e, e raised to x, so then that is called as natural exponential function. So similarly here, in this case, uh, we write y is equals to log of x to the base e, which is called as the natural logarithmic function, okay? And uh, same as the uh, exponential function, here we are only dealing with natural logarithmic function where our base is e, okay? So we will not take any base over here, uh, any, sorry, um, uh, real numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on in uh, here. Okay, so we are taking our base as e that is fixed in a syllabus, right? Okay, now when you have log of x to the base e, so when your base is e, you can skip writing that. So you can just write log of x. Y is equals to log of x. When the base is not specified here, so it is to be understood that it is a natural logarithmic function. Okay, which is basis E, right? So that should be understood. So if uh, just if it is just written as log of x, so then you understand that the base is E. Okay, so when the base is E, you can skip writing that. Okay, you don't have to write that. It is to be understood that uh, the base is E when it is not written. When the base is not written, it is to be understood as it is the uh, natural exp uh, natural logarithmic function, right? In some book, you may find as ln that's natural log okay of x so all these three are having same meaning okay so natural log of x okay so in some book you may find y is equals to ln of x ln means it is natural log okay so natural log means basis e okay so the most standard way of writing is this log of x y is equals to log of x means the basis e okay so this is the um uh, detailed expression y is equal to log of x to the base e 
So when your base is e, you can skip writing that. So you just write log y is equals to log of x. You don't have to write or specify the base, okay? And similarly, in some book, this notation is also used. Y is equals to natural log of x. So natural log means uh, base is e, okay? So whether it is written in this form or this form or this form, all these three are same, okay? And uh, here in our syllabus, in our, this chapter, we will be dealing with only natural log, right? Okay. Now the derivative, I'm going to give it here, derivative of log x. Now here you understand that the base is e, okay? So I'm not writing it. So derivative of log x is equals to 1 upon x. So this is the formula you will use to find the derivative of a logarithmic function, okay? So similarly, by using the first principle method, you can obtain the proof of this, okay? So likewise, you had... Uh, find the derivative of sine x, cos x, tan x, everything uh, using uh, first principle method. So similarly, you can apply first principle method to uh, derive this. So derivative of log x is equals to 1 upon x. So we don't have uh, to learn that uh, derivative, okay? So formula, uh, derivation of that formula, you don't have to go through that. So it's sufficient if you just know the formula, okay? Okay, now we will uh, differentiate few logarithmic functions. <clears throat> okay, differentiate log of x square, right? Okay, so since it is already equated with y, so directly you differentiate it, so you write dy by dx is equals to so first of all, it is a log function. So you will, uh, what is the derivative of log function? Derivative of log x is 1 upon x. So that will be 1 upon, what is x? Instead of x, it is x squared. So therefore, I will write 1 upon x squared, right? And then you need to differentiate x squared into, which is 2x. So derivative of x squared is 2x. I'm applying here chain rule, okay? So now this x and this x will get cancelled. So I have dy by dx is equals to 2 upon x, right? So this is how you will differentiate it. Okay, then example 2. y is equals to log x whole square. Okay, now if I give you this function as log of x square and log of x whole square, are these two same or different? Can you think of it? Log of x square, log of, log of x whole square. So these two are different, right? So I noticed that many of the students, uh, they do mistake, okay, over here. So log of x square means this square is only for this x, right? Whereas this square is for whole log of x, okay? So therefore, when you differentiate it, so when you when there's no bracket, so then this understand that this square is only for x, okay? Now here in this case you are specified that log of x whole square. So first of all, it is a x square type function, okay? So derivative of x square, derivative of x squared is 2x, right? So that is derivative of x square is 2x. So x in this case is log x into now you differentiate this, right? Log x. What is the derivative of log x? It is 1 upon x. Then you need to differentiate this. So that is actually 1. So we don't have to write that. So uh, you'll stop here. So therefore, we have dy by dx is equals to 2 log x whole divided by x. Okay? Now you cannot cancel this 2. Okay? So you cannot do that. So that's 2 log x divided by x. So this is how you find the derivative of log function. Now, these are very simple, but uh, do, you know, students, uh, they make many careless mistakes, okay? So, you have to be careful, right? Okay, so I'll take one more example. Okay, if I give you this, uh, y is equals to sine x log of um, 3x whole divided by root x okay now here this is a uh, fraction so we need to apply quotient rule number one 
on the numerator it is a product of two functions so also you have to apply product rule right now we have to apply quotient rule as well as product rule and also these are composition of functions so we have to apply chain rule now this is one example where you need to apply all three chain rule also product rule quotient rule all these three rules are to be applied here so now you have to be very careful so dy by dx also i can use this notation y dash okay so dy by dx or y dash or f dash x all these are same notations you remember okay so i'm just writing here y dash these two are same so dy by dx is equals to now when you have this okay derivative of fx into gx so what do we have numerator the first function denominator is your second function so first you will differentiate numerator that is f dash x into second function as it is minus first function as it is derivative of second function that is g dash x whole divided by gx whole square right so this is quotient rule so now i'm going to apply it over here so now first i need to differentiate the numerator right and you can see that numerator is a product of two functions so you have to apply product rule so now when you are differentiating the numerator okay so uh, this is your first function this is your second function so derivative of first function that is cos x derivative of sine x is cos x into second function as it is log of 3x this is as it is okay plus first function as it is into derivative of second function so uh, log 3x so derivative of log x is 1 upon x so that will be 1 upon 3x into then derivative of this so that is 3 right so derivative this part is done derivative of first function into second function as it is right okay minus okay first function as it is sine x into log 3x into now derivative of the second function okay so that is root x what is the derivative of root x it is 1 upon 2 root x okay now this part is done this part is done whole divided by denominator whole square okay so now you need to simplify all these terms so that will be root this two will get cancelled okay uh, so this three and this three will get cancelled right and here you cannot cancel any term so now you can simplify this collect the like terms and see what you can do so um, this becomes cos x into log 3x plus uh, okay sine x whole divided by 3 minus Mm, sine x log of 3x into 1 upon 2 root x whole divided by x all right so in this way you can do now uh, okay so now you cannot take any term common this has sine x this has sine x but this does not have okay this term has log of 3x this term has log of 3x but it does not have so therefore you cannot take out any term common so you can leave it uh, just like this right so this is how we are uh, finding the derivative of exponential and log function okay so these are the only new things you have to learn that is the derivative of exponential function e raised to x is e raised to x itself right derivative of log function derivative of log of x is 1 upon x so you need to learn these two formula and otherwise uh, the way you are differentiating a function uh, using chain rule, product rule, quotient rule, all these are same. Okay, so the concept remains same but here you had been introduced to two new functions which are exponential and log function and you are given the uh, derivatives of these two functions. Okay, so applying this you need to uh, differentiate um, uh, the given function. Okay which will be in the form of exponential or log function okay so to clarify this concept you will solve exercise 5.4 okay so this is a very small exercise and only few questions are there uh, which is on uh, finding the derivative of exponential and log function okay so uh, i'll see you in the next class so till then you will complete this um, exercise okay and um we will start uh, with a new topic okay so take care and stay safe thank you